name's Chanel and this is my YouTube channel about all my Yarny adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mama of Yarn. Today is December 2nd and this is episode 4 in all my crafting adventures. Today I have one finished object to share with you and five works in progress. I also have the 100 subscriber giveaway which I'll do in a little while and I think that is about it along with just some little chats about the vlogmas that I'll be doing and taking part in. So let's get started. I have the, my only finished object which is my sacred space blanket which I am calling my sacred blueberry blanket. This is a present for Christmas for my sister-in-law. I'll add a little video um, at the end of it laid out on the bed for you so you can see the full blanket. It's crocheted in paint box yarns, simply DK weight and we have this light grey is called storm grey. We have a darker grey which is slate grey. We have a cream but it's almost like a white, just like off white, it's called champagne white and the blue is called sailor blue. And what I love about this is when the light grey is up against the blue, it almost gives it a pale blue look. The little tones just slightly change. Um, this is crocheted on a four mil crochet hook. And all I have left to do is just sew in a few ends, which won't take long. And also I have one of these little tags. Is that focusing? I believe so. Just a little handmade tag to sew on, just so my sister-in-law knows that I've made that and spent all the time crocheting her this beautiful present for Christmas. All my whips, projects, everything that I talk about today will be linked down below. If you click the little chevron, it'll list everything. All you need to do is just click on the link and it'll take you directly to um, the project and all the information on um, quantities of yarn used, um, colors, uh, brands, um, dye lots, if there is a dye lot, all that good stuff, just in case you'd like to know in more depth about it. And that is the blanket finished. So works in progress. I have my stocking, which hasn't really had much work at all for my uncle. I've just got the cuff and a few rounds done. I haven't really worked on this since the last episode, purely because I wanted to get the blanket completely finished. This won't take too long. Now I've got that off the hooks. This will be probably a day, day and a half to finish. So I'll have that to show. Um, it's the Happy Gnome stocking. It's like a little gonk character with some pom-poms for a hat, hands and a nose. Uh, if you want to see more on what he'll look like, I've linked a picture on the project page to my aunties that I finished, so you'll be able to see that. And I started a new project. Not really much happening at the moment. Just some one, uh, sorry, two by two rib. My mother has requested a pair of leg warmers to go over her Wellingtons and her walking boots when she walks the dogs. I'm just, I'm not following a pattern, I'm creating it on my own. So I've just done a two by two for, at the moment, by the looks of it, 10, 
20-ish rounds just at the top and then I will reduce down. So I believe I cast on 72 stitches and I'm using, I think, a 3.75, excuse me, yes, 3.75 uh, US size 5. I'm knitting it out of this Hayfield Spirit, which is a double knit. It's, it hasn't actually got a shade, a uh, colorway name. It's shade 405. Oops. 405. And basically, I'm just gonna keep going for a really long tube. I'm thinking possibly about 120 uh, rows and that should give me around 11 inches so plenty of length there that she can scrunch down, cover her boots, go over her jeans or walking trousers but this squish is beautiful. Oh, I've got my little progress keeper there, a little heart yarn ball which is very sweet. And there's not much else to say about that. Very mindless, just knitting, knitting, almost like knitting a sock without a, uh, without a um, foot or heel turn. Just a really, really long cuff. And that is the only project that isn't an advent project. So I also have three advent projects on the go. My first is my yarn badger advent skein. All I have is day one done at the moment. Let's put one down. I'm knitting these in tandem and that's the first little line of day there. Day one, I have a little candy cane on one sock and oops, a little Father Christmas on the other sock. I'm knitting these on a 2.25 US size one, I believe that is. Let me just double check. Fixed circular needles, chow goos, uh, US size one, yes. 64 stitches, 20 rounds of two by two rib. I'm going to probably do around 60 rows for the leg before I put in a heel turn and gusset and there's not much else to say. Here's the yarn all caked up. There should be, I believe, 24 individual row, colour rows for each of the days of Advent. And I'll show you more on those as and when I get through to the each day. I'm also using my Yarn Whisperer Advent to knit stripy socks. I have day one done here. That's just this tiny little bit that's been done. This was day one. It was called Palm Trees. Beautiful greens, neons, lights, limes, all t different tones and I'm decided to do six rounds for each day. So what the plan is, I'm going to do six rounds of, on days one through 12. Row, uh, day 13, I'm going to do the heel flap and turn then 14 to Christmas will be the foot and then a, the toe will be done in this contrasting bare yarn 
this was the Yarn Whisperers September, I think it was September colorway, the Identity Key. I forgot to say, also, the Yarn Badger, this is a Superwash Merino Nylon Sparkle Base, and the Yarn Whisperer, this base is an 80-20 Corydale Nylon. It's absolutely beautiful, very sturdy, I absolutely love it for socks. So, I didn't, can't remember if I said, 20 rows, 2x2 two two ribbon, 2.25, US 1, 64 stitches, chow goo fixed, uh, and again, knitting those in tandem. Day, I opened day two, and I've wound it up. This was called Tequila Sunrise. So I will be adding that next, oh, they go beautifully together. So I can't wait to knit on that later today. And my last work in progress, there's very, very little to show. So I'll just show you the pattern page. With my Woolly Mummers Yarn Advent, I'm knitting the Quest Adventure Wrap. There's an option for a wrap and a scarf, but I've chosen to do the wrap. And each day is a battle. You roll dice, I think I've spoken about this before, and you progress, and depending on the number of your dice roll depends on which of the 11 different, I believe it was 11 different charts that are inside the pattern booklet that you knit. So not there's never gonna be two um, wraps or shawls, scarves that will be alike. Everyone will be different due to the random dice rolls at the different advents that people are using. And at the moment, I'm halfway through a round or a row, should I say. And this is how it looks. Just a tiny little two rounds. Um, I can't even show you looking at this. It's At the moment it's lace work, so that needs a lot of thought. So I have, I tried to do it last night and I was just far too tired. So I put it down. I have my little Mickey needle stoppers. I'm using a 3.75, yes, 3.75 US 5 for this shawl. The pattern is 132 stitches. Um, and there's not much else to say about that either because I haven't really done much. All the patterns, links, everything is down below. And that is everything. Not really much going on this week. I think Vlogmas is taking over everything. I haven't really had much knitting time at all. I've been so busy with college runs and drop-offs and household -y chores and just life in general. But I have had a birthday since we last spoke and I had some beautiful gifts which will then progress into stash enhancement from my daughters. I had this lovely sock set. Look at all these pastel-y purples, sort of greeny teals, pale purples with speckles nice blush pink by Botanical Yarn. Botanical Yarn. And that's on a merino nylon base. Five 25 gram minis. Um, it's called the Yorkshire Sunset Mini Skein Set. 7525, sorry. I did I say 7525 before? I can't remember. 520 gram minis. It's 
absolutely perfect. My daughters were over the moon when they came across this to purchase for me for my birthday. And as you can imagine, I was extremely excited once I'd opened that. I'm on strict instructions by my youngest daughter to knit socks for myself because I knit endless amounts of socks and give them away to everyone. And she's told me I have to knit a pair for myself and keep them, which is very kind of her, bless her. They gave, they also purchased two stitch markers for me, or progress keepers. The first, see if I can turn it round, is by Twill and Print Fibre Studios. And it's a little tiny coffee cup or mug that has a yarn ball that dropped inside. <laughs> Obviously every knitter's complete or crochet is nightmare, but they are two of my all time favorite things. Yarn and coffee all wrapped up in one little stitch marker, which is absolutely perfect. And then my eldest daughter, she purchased this little Harry, oh, Harry Potter stitch marker set. She knows that Together we both enjoy Harry Potter. It's one of our little things that we get to share together. So we have the owl, we have the hat, Deathly Hallows sign I believe that is, and the little glasses. And this is by Crunchy Nut Crochet and you can find those on Etsy. Obviously everything will be linked below. I can't wait to find a little project to put those on. And since we last spoke, I've had my last and final instalment for the Yarn Whisperers Sock and Key Club. I don't believe there is a December one. I might have that wrong. If I have, then we'll get to share one last colourway. And this one is called the Echo Key. So it's the Echo Key in Corridale Sock by the Yarn Whisperer. Here's the stitch marker, the key stitch marker that has come this time. And it's beautiful, beautiful shades of grey, deep grey, light grey going into this nice yellow wash with this beautiful vivid yellow mini it's absolutely gorgeous and together they look stunning i'm wondering i might not make socks with these i'm thinking stephen west shawl or something look i need to go through my stash and see what else i have but that would make an amazing shawl or wrap or cowl or something. Perfect. And that is all the yarn related items at today. Today's gonna to be a really short one because what with Vlogmas, I don't wanna keep showing everyone the same things over and over and over again. I just wanted to make sure that I did this podcast today because I want to um, give the winner, uh, 100 subscriber winners a chance to contact me and choose their patterns just in case they wanted to use those patterns for their advent knitting. So we've had in that episode eight people apply which is fantastic, a lot more than I thought. I have you all in this generator wheel here and let's take a first spin. So here it is spinning. Congratulations. Oh, not now. Oh, Rhonda Priest, you are the first winner of the pattern giveaway. And let's spin again. 
Let's find out who's next. The next person is oh, Bonnie Burwash. I will put the names up on the screen here. Congratulations, Bonnie. You are our second prize winner giveaway. So if Rhonda and Bonnie, if you wouldn't mind messaging me, contacting me via Instagram or Ravelry or here or via email with your pattern of choice on Ravelry up to the value of $10, 10 um, UK, whatever country nomination. Uh, oh my goodness me, I've gone blank then. Whatever your, what is the word I'm looking for? I've gone blank, I'm sorry. Anyway, please do message me and I can get that pattern sent out to you. Um, please make sure that when you message what the pattern is you would like, that you put your Ravelry um, profile name so that I can send it to the correct place. And thank you all very much for subscribing. That was amazing and I feel joyed that I can share some love and pattern and yarny goodness with you all. So future plans for knitting, just carrying on with my advents. I need to finish my leg warmers for my mother. I need to finish my uncle's Christmas stocking and just progress slowly. Oh, I also have some little Terry's chocolate orange crochet Christmas puddings that I need to make for my Nana's care home. I going to create one for each of the residents of her care home and gift those. I'm wondering whether or not to do a little tutorial on how I make those and pop it here on Instagram, uh, not Instagram, pop it here on YouTube, just in case anybody else wants to make them. They only take about 30 minutes, so give me some thoughts on that. If you'd like me to pop a little tutorial down here, that'd be perfect, I can do that for you. Obviously, I haven't got one to show yet because I haven't made any. I need to do that this week. Um, and other than that, just concentrating on Advent knitting, which, as we all can imagine, is taking up a lot of everyone's time at the moment. Um, I haven't got much else. As I said, it's going to be really short and sweet today. I am um, just looking around. No. That is everything. Um, I am taking part in Vlogmas. My Vlogmases are going to be slightly different to everybody else's. I'm not very technical. I haven't got any editing programs or things like that. So when you get these elaborate, beautifully, almost television program style Vlogmases that people create, that's not gonna be here. Unfortunately, you get me. I'm crazy a bit sporadic, a bit, <laughs> I have no technical um, skills whatsoever. So you'll see me opening advents, you'll, I will try and pop some videos of anything that I do during the day, but to be honest, as we all know, sometimes life is extremely hectic, extremely boring, and you're not gonna want to see me do a 100 loads of laundry, cooking, cleaning, things like that. So I will pick and choose the days that I can share some Christmassy or just crafty things with you. Uh, today I'm filming Vlogmas and I've baked a gluten-free Christmas cake, so that's gonna go in to this, today's Vlogmas. But other than that, it's general crafty things. So they're just gonna be probably between five and 10 minutes every single day of me opening yarn, showing you the advent for that day and giving you an update and progress on all the advent knitting. So I'd like to say a very big thank you for you all stopping by. Um, obviously, hello to any new subscribers or new watchers, you're most welcome here. It's my little area of just yarny goodness and I welcome anyone and everyone and for all those that have been here before welcome back and I hope you enjoyed this little tiny snippet of what I've been up to I wish you all a wonderful day 
and happy crafting and I shall see you here next time. Take care. Bye.